Hi everybody, welcome back. We'll take a look at the uh, rainfall amounts from uh, this little trop tropical storm, Amelda. And again, we got virtually nothing here in the coastal bend, but uh, down around Brazos Port and Bay City, 14.2 inches of rain up to Galveston, around 10 to 11 inches of rain. And then off east of Houston, uh, over in the Beaumont Port Arthur area, 9.3. But the interesting thing about this is that the east side of Houston had between four and six inches of rain, but the south and west side of Houston had less than an inch. So there's a dividing line right down the middle, and that's exactly where the center of the storm went with 40 mile an hour winds. So tonight, it's just a tropical depression near Lufkin, Texas, spinning around there, and all of the rain is south and east. Houston is out of the woods on this, with the exception of a few sprinkles in the region. So that's what's going on with the uh, latest tropical storm that lasted about 40 minutes yesterday before it went inland, Imelda, and there it is. So we're on the back or dry side of this, and this is, uh, again, robbing us of our moisture, and that's why you've been so hot the last couple of days, and we will be again tomorrow, 98, if you missed it earlier, yesterday and today, only moving northwest at three miles an hour. So with a little change there, it means little change in our weather here tomorrow with only a lonely shower, and lots of heat to go around, as you can see here. Go to the water vapor imagery, you can see the dry air coming in on the back side of this. What's interesting is, is this high is parked over the upper Ohio Valley, and this is in the upper atmosphere, so this low is gonna go around the high eventually. This low is also blocking any cold air from coming down from Canada. Notice the southwesterly flow aloft, that does not bring cool or cold air here, it's gotta be out of the northwest. So that's exactly the opposite of what we need to get a front through the region. And it's all because of that system. We have two other systems, Umberto and Jerry out in the Atlantic. They are increasing in intensity. This is a major hurricane, but neither one of them is expected to affect land. So that's good news. 85 right now in Corpus Christi, expected to drop to 80 in the middle of the night with light south winds and mainly clear skies. We'll be in the upper 70s for lows in the morning, pretty warm for this time of September. 78 warm and quiet starting out in the morning, 91 at noon and 92 sweltering at 5 p.m. tomorrow and little in the way of rain. You'll look out and maybe see one or two uh, isolated showers, but that's it. 96 will be our high, 89 in Port Aransas, 100 degrees inland out around San Diego and Freer. Here's a future tracker showing the isolated shower tomorrow. I don't think the city will see anything. And uh, then at 11 o'clock tomorrow night, pick up a few coastal showers. And then on Friday, not much. Friday night into Saturday morning, we'll see a few showers around, but isolated in nature. Again, most of us not participating in the rainfall. And where it does happen to rain, rainfall amounts will generally be on the light side. Everybody will be less than a half inch. Some areas won't see anything over the next three days. Here's your NEC Co-op Energy seven day forecast. Isolated showers at 96 tomorrow and 92 and breezy on Friday. Breezy on Saturday with a stray shower and 91 back up to 92 Sunday. And uh, then it dries out and heats up further on Monday and 94 again, we're heading the wrong direction as we move into Tuesday and Wednesday hmm. of next week. What we, month is this? <laughs> it seems is more it, like August. Still, it yeah. does <laughs> seem a lot like August. But even the 98 we had today is above normal for yeah. any time of the year, not yeah, just September. Wow. The rain has been nice though, this month. We'll so, get it yeah. back. Okay. okay. Thanks, Dale.